Hey everyone, it's Mark J. Schmidt here with Gloria's Ask to Go Realtors and MoveMeMark.com. It's a great day. Today is day 13 of Mark Madness. Mark Madness is happening all March long and it's where I'm giving you great tips, advice, ideas, strategies, even some insider information. Everything you can use to make your next move a huge success. Make sure you check back every day on my Facebook page at Facebook.com slash MoveMeMark so you don't miss out. But thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Yesterday on Mark Madness, we talked about whether it was a better idea to buy your next home and then sell your current home or sell your current home and then buy your next home. The general consensus is that it's a better idea for most people to sell their current home and then buy their next home. The question today is, how do you do that? How do you sell your home and then find your next home and not wind up living in your car? Well, it's a little tricky, but it's a process. And let me tell you what we do. My own family went through this last year. We actually decided to sell our home and we bought our next home. And, and it was funny, I was telling everyone that I felt like the, the doctor who'd become a patient. Because here I was on the other side of the table, experiencing what it was like to, you know, have showings on my home and, and have to get everything ready and, and, and then finding our next home. And, and it was crazy. But there's a few things you can do and there's a few things we did to make sure that the process goes as smoothly as possible. The first thing is you want to make sure that the buyers out there know that you are looking for your next home. So one thing we, I might do for some of my clients is put in the listing, you know, uh, seller requires time to find home. Easy, something simple like that. Because then if you've got a potential buyer, you know, maybe a buyer is a, a, a renter. When they are looking at homes, maybe they have three or four months uh, before they, you know, their lease is up. So it might be a great fit. You can have all the time you need to find your next home and they can, you know, play out the rest of their lease. So letting the buyers know is critical. Now, the other thing to consider is this. On average, it takes about two months to close a home transaction. So from the time you have a contract to the time you actually get the keys, it's going to be about two months uh, in between there. So this should give you enough time to find your next home and then coordinate the closings. Now, what if you can't get out on time? What if you need a little extra time and, uh, you know, but the buyer needs to close? Maybe their interest rate is going to go away. You know, maybe they have something they need to do and they need to close on that date. They can't give you an extension. Well, what you can do then is what's called a use and occupancy. Provided this is good with the buyer, they don't need a place to live. A use and occupancy is where the uh, closing happens and the seller stays in the house past the closing date. Typically, uh, they would pay some sort of rent. So the rent is typically the uh, buyer's mortgage, their monthly mortgage payment divided by 30. And that's your per day rate. So if you need to stay a week or two, most times you can work those things out. But I'll tell you something. I have never had a client who wound up living in their car. Everything just always seems to work out, which is really fantastic. Now, if you have questions about how you can sell your home and get into your next home, please give me a call anytime. You can reach me at 908-705-5110. And make sure you check out my blog on my website. I have got some awesome stuff there that I know you're going to love. And uh, you can find that, of course, at www.movememark.com. Listen, thanks so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And I am looking forward to seeing you tomorrow for more Mark Madness. You have a great day. Bye-bye.